Hello. Well, today is one of the very last days of 2019, and when you see it, it'll be 2020, so Happy New Year. And uh, we're all in this new decade now. Today, I'm going to talk about the last film I saw on the big screen in 2019, Uncut Gems. It's about uh, Howard Ratner, who's a a jeweler has a jewelry store and he uh, you know sells a lot of very expensive jewelry to people and uh, Kevin Garnett you know, the basketball player he's uh, in this film uh, takes place in 2012 and it's kind of important because there are certain games that happen like basketball games uh, that are are a pivotal part of the film um, and I won't spoil this for anyone but uh, yeah I'll just say it's a very good film um, Howard Ratner it gets a gem a rare gem um, called a uh, black opal it's quite rare uh, from Ethiopia and uh, yeah a lot of colors when you look into the uh, uh, when you look into it, you know, into this gym. Uh, Howard even says you can see the universe in there. You can see the whole universe, and it, it's very interesting. And then how the, you even see the beginning of how this gym came to be, um, and also what the but the cost it was to get the gym, uh, he, uh, uh, and another thing that is important to know with this film, uh, Howard is a gambler, he takes money from people, and he likes to, uh, you know, place bets here and there, particularly with sports, hence the basketball stuff in this film is uh, very critical. And uh, all the performances are great by everybody <clears throat> in the film. Uh, but uh, Adam Sandler is the true standout in this film. Uh, he, he is really great. Um, the Sadafi brothers, uh, I've never seen a movie by them. You know, I've never seen anything they've made before. I've heard Good Times is a good film starring Robert Pattinson. Who is another uh, film I love? Two thousand nineteen, um, but yeah, you, you you get to see Howard gamble and have a you know he has a gambling problem, and he has a lot of debts, like, uh, particularly to his brother-in-law. You know he needs to pay off his debts that he owes to him. He has, and his brother-in-law has two guys, you know, going trying to get the money from him and it's just you know everything he plans out just goes wrong like just when he thinks he has something that is going to get him all the money he needs in order to you know get pay back all the debt something happens and he like, he like loses it or in the case with a gem one thing is he loans uh, Kevin Garnett the gem, which he thinks is has good luck. And we'll give him luck, and um, he wins like a game. He get, wins like a basketball game with it. And there's all this stuff with uh, this gem, and uh, that one like seems to be quite. It's a very important part of the film, obviously, not just because of the title, but it's just quite important overall. Uh, it's not one of those things like, well, you see it in the beginning, then it's just gone, you never see it again. Uh, you know, and it's just, you know, uncut gems. Um, and he also is a jeweler in the Diamond District in New York, so there you go. Um, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a very good film. I do think that in the middle kind of got, kind of, the slowing was a bit, or the pacing was quite slow, sort of, you know, the beginning and the end are, are very good, you're going quite well, but then in the middle it's sort of like kind of lulling, and I guess in a way it, it might make sense, because there's like this dinner, like a Passover, uh, that they have, and then around that time, you know, it sort of calms down a bit, um, which I guess, you know, what you would expect, but, uh, you know, for that moment, that's fine, but I find other parts of it is just sort of like, of the middle, a bit unnecessary, because he gets beat up quite a bit in this film. Uh, in the beginning, we get, you know, something happens, and you can understand, like, okay, because he's not paying his death back, this is happening to him, you know, and he has himself to blame, you know, nobody else, nobody is forging him at gunpoint, or threatening him or his family, if he doesn't take this money he was loaned, and instead of using it for what he says he needs, or whatever, he goes and blows it on uh, uh, betting on something, that he doesn't get the money back that he put down, that he can't, <clears throat> you know, pay back with, you know, and, uh, can't pay back and, or get back and pay his debts with or any of that, uh, you know, he's, he's a gambler, he has a problem, he has an addiction that he can't beat, and he should get help, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to. And you just, it's just, it's a movie that's quite realistic. Yet, I don't know, you get frustrated with uh, Howard Ryder, who's Adam Sandler, by the way. Um, yet, you know, you're supposed to. He's a character who's pretty scummy, and yet, you know, he has a mistress and his wife, and his wife doesn't like him. He's not a very good dad. Hardly acknowledged that. His daughter, who's a movie who we see at the beginning, is like something like there's like a play, and then in the you know later in the middle, and you know, she comes back. You know, with his interactions with his kids, it's mostly with his sons. It's not he doesn't have much of a relationship with his daughter. It's just like you know he had her, you know, had a daughter, then he had sons, and he gets wrapped up in his own thing, uh, involving work, and money, and his mistress, and his wife here and there, but that's really it. Um, Adam Sandler gave an incredible performance, and is deserving of, like, uh, all the awards buzz he's gotten, deserving of an Academy Award nomination, I know he hasn't gotten nominated for the Golden Globe, or the SAG, similar to, a. Uh, Robert Pattinson deserved nominations for those two films as well. Though he does, he got nominated for a Critics' Choice Award for Best Actor, which Pattinson didn't. Uh, but Pattinson and him are both nominated for the Independent Spirit Award uh, for Best Actor. Um, which, you know, we'll see what happens there. Uh, it's just one of those things that, you know, this is an incredible performance, and you're able to sort of like forget Adam Sandler uh, was in, uh, has been in a bunch of comedies, um, particularly comedies that did, haven't done very well. You know, people aren't that fond of uh, some of his latest comedies. They think he's, he's just, they're childish. You know, the humor is childish. He's only instead of trying to aim for a huge demographic and a wide audience, he's going for a narrow one because of that childish humor <clears throat> that's in his films. But this movie is different. It's really incredible. And if anything, it's worth watching for Adam Sandler's performance. He does an incredible job. Um, there is uh, some 
quite a bit of foul language, so, you know, if you're not a huge fan of that, uh, be aware. Uh, said quite frequently a lot throughout the whole movie. Um, but, yeah. That's all I really have to say about that. Just, uh, it's a good film. I thought it sort of lulled a bit in the middle, but but other than that, it's, it was good. You know, uh, beginning and end were really solid. Middle was fine, but certain parts were, I felt, a bit redundant, particularly with him getting beat up. It seemed like he was just getting beat up for the sake of getting beat up. And that point of it sort of, to me at least, was lost. Like, there was no point now. He's just a punching bag. And he, yeah, yeah, he, 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 it's his own doing for it, but still, it's like we get the point already. He doesn't uh, pay off his debt, so this happens. Can we move on a bit from now, or from that from now, or, or for a while, at least? So it doesn't kind of get repeated over and over again. But that's just me. You know, I've only seen it the one time so far. Perhaps I see it again and I change my tune on that. You know, it's very possible. Um, but anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. I uh, hope you've all had a good week. I hope your New Year's Eve and so far your New Year has gone very well. Hope you'll have a good weekend and a good day also. And until next time, see you all later.